Hey y'all, so today I did this look. Um, I used my Bare Minerals Liquid Mineral Foundation. I have the Tan Nude 17 shade. So if you wanna see how I applied it, how I got this look, please keep watching. And thank you for even clicking on this video to check it out. <laughs> Hello. So today I am doing a video of me applying and reviewing the Bare Minerals Liquid Mineral Foundation. This is a broad, it has the broad spectrum SPF 20 in it. Um, this is their new foundation. Uh, I received it from Influencer for testing purposes. Uh, so we're gonna get started. I already applied my moisturizer. I used the Tatcha Dewy Cream moisturizer and I'm going to do my eyebrows because that takes a long time so I figured I might as well do that right now. So it says shake, uh, shake while before applying so we're shaking this and then it also has a twist to open kind of way for you to remember. As you see I've, I've used this uh, I think maybe one or two times, I don't know there. So all right, let me go ahead and just twist it to open it. And it pops up like that. And so they sent me the shade Tan Nude 17. So yeah, all right, anyways. I know in the instructions um, in the box box, it says to apply with your fingers onto your face, uh, if I remember correctly. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm gonna try to buff it out with the brush here. I'm gonna use my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush to buff it out. And then I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender, just incredibly dirty. But yeah, I'll be using this probably to like blend it afterwards. So let's get started. I'm gonna pump some on, my, on the back of my hand. I'm gonna, this is a, I think it's a medium to full coverage, depending on how you are. I like full coverage, so yeah. One, two, three. It's not much of my out, so anyways, here we go. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, that. And yeah. Let's see if that's enough. So now we're, I'm just gonna take the rest off of my back, off the back of my hand and put on the brush and then we're just gonna go in. Right, and now we're gonna do the beauty blender. So this is how it looks when I applied it. I think it looks good. I mean, I kind of probably should not have used that Taja Dewy Cream just because it gives you a dewy finish, so I don't want somebody to still know, oh, this is gonna give me a dewy finish. <sighs> I don't think so. I don't, I should probably just use this by itself just to get a better comparison. But I mean, it looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer under my eyes real quick. Stop using so much concealer because I mean concealer is mashy. So yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to be more careful. And 
I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit so it can get tacky. Um, that's another thing I've been learning. <laughs> you need to let your concealer sit. Well, I, well, it depends. This Tarte Double Duty, I need to let it sit. But if I don't, I realize it's not that good if you just try to blend it immediately. It's, it, it doesn't give you much full coverage. And I know everybody's like, eh, it's gonna full coverage. No, not for me. If I don't let it sit, it does. But if I don't, it does not. So I'm just gonna let that sit. Let it marinate into my skin. As you see, I'm still letting the concealer sit because I want it to really be nice and tacky before I blend it.
So now we're gonna get, or I'm gonna get this one. So the first one I used was the light medium. Now I'm going to use the medium tan gold. Just to brighten that. I mean, not brighten it, but to make it not so bright because right now it looks pretty natural. And you want to look natural. Like, well, at least I know I do. So, yeah. I'm gonna let that sit a little bit. I think everything is going on really nicely with this foundation so far. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my Ben Nye Luxury, uh, luxury Powder <laughs> Banana Powder. Get my blender, our beauty blender, and we're just going to set it. But first, we want to make sure there aren't any creases. So since I do see a little bit, I'm going to try to. Okay, now that we did that and look crazy, we're gonna go ahead and get some bronzer. Yes, we're not finished yet. It's wild. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and use, I like to typically, because you know, sometimes since it's a lot of liquids and creams, I wanna go ahead and at least go over that with a, a light sheer bar. So that's gonna be the absolute powder, uh, radiant smoothing powder, absolute acru medium from my home. I, love, I really like this powder, I also love it, but I love the powder, it's different. I'm not really loving it just yet, I'm not there yet. Like, I need a little more time. Like, this is a pretty big brush, so you see all that product? That's a lot, so. I'm gonna shake it off, and we're just gonna put it just right there for now, because I'm actually about to bronze my face, so. I'm gonna put some hair too. But again, I really, I don't like being heavy handed with this stuff. Because it's, it's just, it's for smoothing and you don't wanna to do too much, you know? Like you just, you don't, like there's no reason to go crazy. Okay. 
And so I'm gonna brush my face real quick. Bring this back up because we aren't done with this. And I like this. This is the Physician's Formula Deep Bronzer, the Lulu Butter Bronzer. I like this a lot. It's one of my bronzers. It's one of the bronzers I always use for sure. So, you see how I got a little heavy with it? A little too heavy with it? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm gonna take my brusher, the Kat Von D brush. I don't know what it's called exactly. And So now that lashes are on, I did my eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and finally remove this powder. Finally. This brush is a small one. Yeah, it's a blender, I'm just gonna blend a brush, but whatever. I mean. I'm just trying to give it some color. Okay. 
We're gonna add blush. Yeah, it's blush time. And I'm just gonna layer it on. Gloss and Bossy Power Pumping Lip Gloss. Just gonna do people as in me so to have a foundation that has a sunscreen already in it is really good because sunscreen helps your skin from basically uh, getting damaged and damage as in getting wrinkles um, and you know premature aging um, sunburn and all that stuff so I think that is a great thing to add into every foundation but you know every company is going to be focused on that so it's a good thing that their minerals is focused on that and that's what they included so yeah all right well i hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please uh subscribe to my channel our um yeah yeah <laughs> i said channel but i mean even if this is viewed anywhere else just I hope you liked it and that it is something that you can actually 
feel like you'd want to purchase. I mean, it looks great to me. I think it's a really good foundation. There's just so many foundations out on the market right now. Um, so to me, I like how it has this easy access open where you just do, you just twist it open. I think it's really great. Um, you also get one fluid ounce, which is typically, you know, how much you get in the foundation anyways. Um, so yeah, I, I hope y'all like this video. And again, thank you Influencer for sending this product to me. I really do like it. I think it's a great product. It is a buildable type of coverage, type of foundation. So yeah, thank you again for watching and I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Bye.